All right, so here it is. This is how it comes. Obby does come with some instructions, uh, cleaning, stuff like that. Nothing real crazy. Pretty much basic stuff, but this is D2. Uh, so when you first see that thing, it still got a little bit of oil on there from the factory. We're going to run it through some paces. I don't think that that thing is going to last on there very long for me, but does have a great handle. Incredible. Good spot to put your finger right there. You can really choke up on it if you're doing small stuff. And maybe we'll do some of that. All right, this is kind of a dead tree. But... That was, I just scared out of there. Yeah. Plus that thing is gouging that. I don't know if you can see that. This thing does have a bit of a, wow oh man, I was stabbing into some stuff with it already. Worked great. I don't know if, uh, and then I bend, I'll bend out, right? Making sure that thing stays straight. It's nice. It, it hasn't had any problems with that whatsoever. But, I don't know if you can see that. That thing's going in. Right here. Man, that feels real good holding on to it. But chopping with it? Maybe I'm not holding it tight enough, but damn, that thing's getting my pinky. Real good for stabbing stuff. <laughs> Maybe if I hold underneath that part right there, I'll get a little more leverage and a little bit less uh, vibration. Doesn't take much. This thing should do pretty much uh, whatever you need. Make sure that's getting all that. Yeah, probably. But should do pretty much everything you need. Any kind of fine stuff shouldn't. Yeah, this thing gonna be a problem. This thing is like really sharp. Look at it. I'm just curling along, no problems. That thing is sharp. Uh, chopping and lopping and stuff. The only thing is I felt so far, right there I think, right where that grip is, feels good. Maybe it's this right here. I'm getting it in the pinky, getting a vibration. Not every hit, but I can feel it. It's got that, like you want to just stick that thing into something and go. Hasn't broken the tip yet. I don't think it will. Wasn't going in deep enough before. But here and there, I'm feeling that sting. Oh, like that. Right there. That was that piece right there. I felt it that time. But for any of the small stuff, like I said, that cutting like that, it's also got this spot that you can just really reach up and uh, get right into it. Hmm. We might have some failure here. But yeah, you could do some, some close... I'm gonna have to show you that. I just saw banging on this. This is uh, pretty much a dead walnut. Still maybe got a little life left in it, but it's not much. So no problems there on the tip, right? But hitting this, taking chunks out. Look what I'm noticing already. I'm gonna get behind the camera on this one so I can show you good enough look at that look at that i'm chipping this thing already chipping bending this is like a fail and a half massive fail like i need to write the company this is the first day out with i i mean i don't even know what more i'm going to be able to do with this it didn't bend though i stuck it in probably as far as almost there somewhere and did not bend. And I love the feel of this handle. Except for that vibration. Look at those slices I got on my trigger finger. That's horrible. But as far as the pummel though, I and mean, I didn't even take this thing off yet. That's how long I had it. Not very long. So that part doesn't hurt too much. But I do feel quite some shock here and there in my hand. Man, I'm destroying this thing. It says D2 right on it. D2. That off grid that I have is the only real D2 that I really have beat the crap out of. And it's never done this. 
And this thing, I don't even think the blades is fine right at the front of that. I mean, it was sharp, but I don't even know how to hold this no more. It's already, it's already digging into me. Ah, this is disappointing. $46, $45, something like that. That's disappointing. I was hoping to get something. I mean, what, what do I want, right? I, I didn't even spend half the money as I did on the, um, on that alpha dog. But, uh, yeah. Wow, that's kind of disappointing. I'm sure it's strike a ferro rod. I don't even know if I want to keep going on this video. I'm so irritated with this one. Can you see that crap? Jeez. Not as much chopping as uh, I thought maybe it would have, just for the simple fact that it was a little bit longer. I wanted something a little bit longer, so that's why I was really really into this whole idea of this thing and uh it pummeled no problem it stabs no problem you don't slip you don't have no grip issues because that thing really sticks out right there but man that's about all it's good for you can't you can feel this i mean i'm gonna try to file that down a little bit or whatever maybe that's what i'll do i'll give up on this for right now i'll try to file it down that is nasty look at that that's ridiculous would you pay for that three dollars is it like that cheap oh this is disappointing i'm gonna have to come back to this video i'm bringing this thing back to the house later and try to mess with it oh and then i'll show you what ended up happening you know it does all the little stuff just fine once you start hacking on something like that it wipes out already that's disappointing <sighs> all right so we have touched this blade up um we have used it a couple times since we touched it up uh, it's been a few weeks the blade is in much better shape than it was I had to file it down a little bit sharpen it pretty good i wonder how good you really be able to see that in this lighting it's been raining so bad on and off for days now. It's like I can't, every time I go outside and do anything else, it's just a mess. Uh, yeah, so it had quite a bit of kind of chipping right there. Barely still see it. You can feel it a little bit in there. But, uh, I have sliced a little bit of stuff. It, it, it did go right back to, I mean, more than sharp. This thing is... It's quite sharp. You'll have no problems for sure. Doing any kind of notching. More stuff for the firewood. Um, as far as the chopping and stuff, as long as it doesn't seem to be the most uh, strong, that tree that we were chopping on, every blade I hit it with, that tree was just pretty much mangling it. It was uh, pretty rough that thing uh it's still got you know it's got a little bit of leverage for the size that it is but it's not a real heavy weighted i mean it will cut uh you can see where it's making more impressions right there maybe as far as i'm concerned this blade the way i see this blade and every time i swing it like that i, I feel the pressure right there from my handle I'm not going to necessarily recommend this knife. If you like the look, it is a pretty decent looking blade. It is full tang. It is D2. This is just, to me, it's like a fancier knife. If you were going to take this for whittling, I believe the thing was $45 or something like that. It would definitely work in a pinch. You could definitely use this. The sheath is great. I love the sheath. I love that rotating for the horizontal if you want. I mean, that, and it's solid, it's stiff. It's uh, it's nice and it, it just looks so nice. I'm, I'll probably end up selling it though because for me this, though it has a good grip and I bet you it'd be probably better as a uh, more of a fighting blade or if not just a fight it's supposed to be a survival knife it's got the space you can do small stuff with it without ruining anything but i mean it took me an hour or two to get that thing back down 
Jeez. It'll still go in. It still does it. It just doesn't. Maybe it's because it doesn't have that coating on it. Like some of the other D2s that I've used that just don't. They don't mar up like this one does. Uh, the tip had no problems. I think the worst part about it being like that. Um. And sideways, sure, no problems. Tip it right out of there. Uh, sideways, no bending, no no shape issues whatsoever. I mean, for the most part, it seems okay. It really just irritates my fingers in there. Holding it. it has such a great grip that you wouldn't think it has any of that for any. I mean, anything small, this thing is incredible. You you can have so much fun camping, hiking, whatever. And maybe a little heavy for hiking kind of a thing. But sometimes you want something a little bigger. I wouldn't... The handle seems heavier than the front does to me. So, I mean, it still went in there. But it just doesn't hold the edge like the other ones do. You can start to see... I mean, it's sharp. It still stays sharp. That's not the problem as far as sharpness. You can still just keep shaving stuff off if you want. You can make notches as much as you want. Uh, it will sink in there when you... Let me try it down a little lower. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The thing the thing goes in. The thing works. It's... You know... I don't know what to think about it. For me, is this going to be the first thing that I grab and end of the world? I'm running out of here. I'm taking this with me? Eh, probably not. Uh, could this be in a secondary bag for a friend or two that may be coming? I had a couple friends that were like, dude, that thing is awesome. And, well, one of them is probably going to end up getting it is what's going to end up happening. But uh, for me, I can't say that I like this one as much as, you know, as good as it looks. But there it is. There's my, I guess, okay kind of review. It will do what it has to uh, not to the best with some of that. I mean, it's, uh, it's a lot to say. I, I mean, it was half price of the other D2 style nails or uh, knives. So let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Yeah, a lot of people are going to like the look of it. It's got a great handle to it. It's, it's just insane, but man, it hurts the pinky. It's got that nice space right there for getting up close on stuff still stabs in it's just not very comfortable on the hand when you're stabbing oh it's discomfort let me know down in the comments what you think and uh yeah let me know what you think thanks for watching have a good day